So, what do you open shove with? I mean, you're never full for 15 big blinds, Luke. You're just you're I just, just open shove a lot of hands, right? But you know, with this one, with with re with really strong hands, I might raise cool. But but you really have to raise call this. I mean, yeah, don't you have you? to raise call this, of course. But you're you're almost better off open shoving it. Yeah, probably. Well, he said. made the minimum raise. He can never fold a seven, right? No. no. Maybe he'll get a break that Frankenberger will move in here. Frankenberg every hand picks up the chips and the funny thing is he's he's not even gonna shove Frankenberg, he makes it just a re raise. Feldman is not going anywhere, I promise he you. Can't. He's got to play this hand. He can't. He's gotta just go all in right here. He can't. This hopeless man's got a Garfunkel again. Don't throw this away. And I he can't won't. believe it. He won't. Wow, what are you doing? Well, that's just... I mean, you I mean, raise that hand so you can get the guy to make a move on you with the king high and push you in. That you don't mean incredible. raise it to fold it. Is, well. it. is it what it is? Is that Andrew's trying to find a, a great spot? You're not going to get a good well, spot with 12 thing. big blinds. There are no good spots anymore. This, oh, that no makes me spot. sick. I, it's, I would have had it all in there for sure, it's but like, I might have had it all in there before my opponent had a chance to raise me. He'd had to call me. You're in New York City. You're trying to park the car. You're just you're just not putting it in front of the house. You're gonna have to just take any spot you can get. Well, here I'd just shove all in if I was Feldman right here. I wouldn't make a min raise. Sixty thousand. I mean, we've seen a min raise fold a seven, so maybe he's min raise folding. I mean, I don't get it. Well, I mean, he allows. He had a seven in exactly the same spot. Frankenberger free bear, and he folded. He allows Frankenberger to come in this hand. How can he not call thirty thousand with this? Oh, he does call. Call. We haven't seen a flop in a while, but we got one right now. I would have never given him this flop out of me. Yeah, Felton. exactly. It's 120 chips is just too precious. Oh, We're now it's all going to go in. It. We're going to finally see it. But and what we get to see is can Feldman hit his flush draw? What do you think? It has to happen, right? The chips have to go in right now, right? Well, only if Feldman bets are going all in. Feldman always bets this, though. He's betting 70K. Well, you have to bet. He He's just got the nut to. flush draw. If he raises you, just gamble with this. That's all. It's very simple. 55,000. And here it is. It's going to be the all-in. No, he won't. Ra he's just going to make it 110 oh. min raise. Oh, well, I'm going to bet 100 on that if you like. <laughs> and lay a 10 to 1 on it. He's called. We got action. Well, it's all-in called. Spin the wheel. Well, we've seen Frankenberger hit flush now. after flush to stay alive and win Spain. pots in this tournament. Now his opponent needs a flush to stay alive. Can he catch it? And, and you I think there's going to be a five or a deuce on the turn for the triple sweat. I mean, think <laughs> how much the momentum would switch if Feldman, this is, you, you almost, you can feel just the air suck out of Frankenberger if Feldman hits this. But we'll see if it works yes. out. It's a nine of spades now. It's not uh, over. Frankenberger has the top two <laughs> pair. I think Andrew just realized that, that he made two pair on the turn. Oh, he can't believe it. I can't see this. Now, you'd think he'd be happy, and instead he looks like he's anguished here. He's got to dodge a 10 or a 9 so guys to double up. Four out. So guy's got 9%, <laughs> and he is sweating it. No, you can't do it again. Please. Small card. Just put a small card, please. Come on. Small card. Or pitcher card. Anything. What is happening here? Yes! Well, that's a 7. So there you go. Andrew Feldman has doubled up. It's mine. It's mine. I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. I, I, I think mine. Andrew might have just gone favorite. It's I mean, mine. the big momentum switch, right? I think, I mean, Frankenberger played much better than him up until this point. So uh, I thought Feldman was the favorite pre when he had less than this chips. But I don't know. If he, if he continues to... To fold to him, he's going to get blinded out. Well, Andrew Frankenberger's got to be saying to himself, you know, I've outplayed this guy completely all the way, and now all of a sudden the guy's got more chips than we started this heads-up battle with, and I've gone down a little bit. I just can't believe what's happening. I, I just wonder if Frankenberger is, you know, sometimes you can be guilty of celebrating too early. Uh, you know, he is back. Cut. In the thick of it now. This is the, the least chips he's had since uh, they started the heads up. 
Well, Feldman limping in on the button again. It worked for him the last time, but it's not going to work here as Frankenberger raises him with the ace nine. Raise. 110,000. Feldman's been down, 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 down. Now he's got some chips. Surely he's not going to do something foolish now with a 6-4 off suit. I, I wonder. I mean, how how strong is does Frankenberger think the ace nine is? Is is Feldman capable of getting him off it? Frankenberger will 100% go with this hand if he gets raised here. And I mean, the thing about the re-raise doesn't it represent such a strong hand? Yes. You limp in, then all of a sudden you re-raise. That's what he's doing. He is re-raising here. And Frankenberger could either come back over the top all in, throw the hand away. I mean, it's like Feldman is a different person. Can Frankenberger pick up on this? Because this is something completely different. This is something completely unexpected. Well, Frankenberger's asking how much he's got. I'm not sure. I'm not sure Frankenberger can call here, Mike. It's a tough play. I don't know that you can call. I think you have to re-raise or throw the hand away. It looks to me like he's going to throw this away, Mike. I think he's trying to talk himself into folding here. When a guy limps in and then re-raises, you, you do think he's got a real strong hand. I call. Well, call? this is the wow. last option I thought he would do. Absolutely. Because what's going to happen? He's out of position now. And, and Feldman His opponent's going to bet any flop. Doesn't matter what it is. He might have to go all in on the flop. Look, there's 500,000 out there. Feldman's only got eight. I mean, you can't you can't make a bet. That, there's, there's just one bet here. No, I think you can bet 400,000 right here, right now. And then throw it away if your opponent moves in on you. I think you have to bet. You just can't give up all those chips out there. I'll tell you one thing, Feldman does not like this spot. What's he going to do? He's, he's bet very small here. Very small. 95,000. Now this bet is going to send one of two messages to Frankenberger. You know, he's either got a real powerful hand or he's got a real weak hand. It's one of the two. It's not a middle hand. It's like he's either got three kings, or he's begging you to call him with this small bet, or he's got nothing, and he's just trying to pick up the pot. Oh, my gosh. But he's got he's got nothing breaking, Brooke. Hey, Si. This is Feldman's got less. He is going to make this call. Can wow, you believe it? Wow, Mike. Wow. It that, doesn't seem possible. That is incredible. And, I mean, he, it's almost like, I mean, in Feldman's mind, he must think this guy has a king now. It's almost like the, he's, the guy's letting him hang himself, right? Yep. Doesn't it look like a king? It's incredible he could just make that call with that hand. Now a three comes off, so we're back in the same scenario. Check. I mean, Feldman must feel like if he bets again, he's just going to get snapped off with the nuts. Unless you put the guy on Queen Jack specifically. And then you can move in and take the pot down. He's going again. Well, folks, you're looking at the very hand that I predict whoever wins this hand wins this tournament. Hey, can yeah. Andrew Feldman continue to show heart and continue to bet with nothing? He's doing it. He is doing it. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't look. That wasn't the most confident bet in the world, but we know he's got a 4-6. Does Frankenberger? Well, I'll tell you why it's such a good bet because he left himself some chips to move all in on the river just in case he gets called here. If he puts his opponent on a queen jack or something like that, ace jack, where he might throw his hand away if he moves in on the river. And Feldman has sold a good story here, Mike. I mean, he sure wow. Is. He's now bet this three times. He's re-raised him for, for the flop. He's bet the flop. He's bet the turn. Well, all that lack of heart we saw from Feldman earlier. What's he doing? We're seeing now, but... What's Frankenberger doing? He could well be topped by Frankenberger. Mike, this, do you know anything about Frankenberger that suggests... what? He, he's coming over the he's top. He's raising him! He has done he it! He has raised him! He's, this is unbelievable. And he's showing the ace high! This and he's is showing the ace high! Unbelievable by Frankenberger there. The way he played that hand... You talk about heart, folks. This guy has got it in spades. What?
just happened? <laughs> Who is this guy? He's coming for you. What an incredible hand that was. I tell you, I salute both these players. Oh both of them showed hard in that hand like I can't believe. <laughs> We saw Feldman three bed before the flop, bet on the flop, bet on the turn, incredible. <laughs> and then Feldman came back over the top of him on the turn. Neither one of them had anything. What poker. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Well, folks, it shows you it's not about the cards. It's about the opponent and it's about heart that you have if you want to win no limit Olam tournaments. These guys both have it. Frankenberger outdoing him right there to take down that pot. I've asked for water like half an hour ago, please. I mean, this is just not right. Can I have the water, please? I've asked about half an hour ago. What, well, how long do I need to wait for with some water? It's ridiculous. No, but I, I mean, how many times do I need to ask? It's just an absolute joke. You can see the frustration you, sitting in on him right You were waiting yeah. almost an hour for that. It's just a joke. I don't understand this. I didn't ask like that, though. This has been a match. A heads-up match. Well, it really has been. It's been fun to watch. The great thing about watching poker is you can learn from mistakes as well as good plays. And we've seen both of that here in this heads-up battle. Yeah. Well, Feldman's got about 30 big blinds. Up. I'm, and my guess is the reason he's he's raised is because he's not excited to get all his money in with the king-queen. Of course, he oh, would against at the this. King 10. Frankenberger could well come over the top with this King 10. And, and, and this and could be the dream man for Feldman right here. Feldman might shove here. He very well might shove here. Uh, I think he will shove. And indeed he does, and he's called. And Feldman's got a great spot. He's got him dominated. He's going to be the chip Jeez. leader. Unbelievable. He could take the chip lead here. Andrew Feldman, who's been sputtering and sputtering and sputtering, oh has a great opportunity to become chip leader in this heads-up battle. How did he do it? It's King-Queen versus King-10. How did he do it? But he has never say die Feldman. 71% now to go chip leader, Mike. Come on, just one of those. From nothing. One of those queens. Do you see the queen? Well, he wants a queen. I'd rather have... Two deuces and a three come out. Is she looking at me? <laughs> Is the queen looking at me? The queen would help him, but may give Frankenberger a straight opportunity some way. And there you go. He doesn't want a queen now, I can tell you that. I don't think he wants a queen now. He won't be hollering for that, is right. <laughs> well, he'll make a straight himself if a ten comes out, so... In order for Frankenberger to win this pot, he must catch a straight or two running diamonds to make a flush. Needs a seven or a queen. The board paired twice, they would split the pot. But right now, Feldman well out in front with a great shot to double up here and take the lead. One more, one more, one more. Just pair the board. Well, Mike, I don't think there's any. The queen is going to play. I don't think there's any split pots out here anymore. Must be a queen or a seven. It's the only thing that will do it for Frankenberger. Smoke Nothing pot. else will win the pot for him. Must make a straight. Has to catch a queen. He did it. He caught a queen on the river. One more time. Frankenberger has made a pat hand on the river to not only win the pot and to knock somebody out, but this time to win the tournament. It was just fate and destiny for Frankenberger to take down this tournament. The way he did it was dramatic. The way he knocked these players out at the final table, extra dramatic. He's a river man. He's a man with heart. And uh, Andy Frankenberger, Mike, Feldman put up a valiant fight, but you cannot say Frankenberger doesn't deserve it. He has been the man that everybody has had their eyes on this whole tournament. <laughs> Andy Frankenberger, our champion. And uh, I know how much Andrew Feldman wanted that title. Andrew fighting back the tears and shows you how much he did want to win this tournament. He knows he'd have been chipped if he'd have just won that pot. It didn't happen. Still, he played great to get to this final table. Probably not so great in the heads-up battle. And you got to hand it to Andy Frankenberger. He deserved this title.